right. Tears are shed while weary and alone Dry on my pillow far away from home When it comes to being lonely I'm the king A man can be a very lonely thing I guess I'll just go on a wandering Many times I feel like giving in Lose a lot and never seem to win You'll never know how much the hurt can sting A man can be a very lonely thing I guess I'll just go on a wandering Till I find the answers that only love can bring. I guess I'll just go. Hey, Bobber, wanna get those fish for me? Okay, I'll take these home and then I'll be back to help you clean up the boat. Morning, Rhonda. I'll be back after breakfast. See you later. How are you, honey? Good day. Hey, Bomber, we gonna get some fresh lobsters today for a change? You got the money, we got them. Oh, we got the money, all right. Just make sure they're fresh, huh? They'll be fresh. Yeah. After all this time, all she wants to do is get married. Yeah, I wouldn't marry her or her kid sister. Pete's married to be her. I've had it with that principle. Sometimes you need a place to hide Cause the mountain's too high And the river's too wide You can't stand Okay, two fried shrimp All right. How about salad? Mm -hmm. French fries? Yeah, 40, 45 minutes, right You yeah, understand the work, salad, French fries Each order comes right Oh yeah, 12.30, right anything else just yell what's your name uh Rhonda what's your last name Carlson Carlson good morning brother 
The usual? Yeah, if you fry them, but not any. Morning, Rhonda. By using number two instead of first grade. Yeah, you save a black hole, right? Morning, Eddie. Kid a couple months ago, and you can't be sure, honey. I'm sure. Don't tell me this. How would he find out, huh? Hey, Roy, have you found out yet what happened to Minister Polly? No, not yet, man. I'll bet he's on some tropical island with a Tootsie, huh? Huh? <laughs> Plan on staying? Oh, a couple of days. Gotta lock up for the winter, you know. That's south then, huh? Bahamas, I think. Hey, bomber, you old thief. How about a couple hey, uh, of Willie, uh, what that kid want? He wants know where Carrie lives. Why? He didn't say. I know you got the money.
Hello? Hello, this is Mr. Mears from the Department of Social Services in the city. Am I talking to Kara Perry? No, this is her daughter-in-law. Is Mrs. Perry home, please? I'll get it. Hang on. Mother, it's the man from the welfare department, Mother. Don't mother me, you lazy fart. I thought you said there were no more onions left in the garden. This is Cara Perry, and I haven't received a check from your people yet. It is an unusual claim, made years after the time of your husband's murder. He was murdered, I believe. Is that an argument to deny me what's rightfully mine? <laughs> he, my husband, paid enough to into this damn government of ours, if it is still ours. And I won't be denied by a silly bureaucrat. I just wanted you to know that I've received your letters and we're moving as quickly as possible to find your husband's records. See that you do. Have a nice day. See ya. Whatever are you staring at? Nothing, Mother. Then come away from there. Young ladies don't stand in doorways exhibiting themselves. <coughs> well, the uh, fish are all clean and everything. I left Get out, of... out of here with your filthy boots. No! No, at the front door. Don't try and through the house again, you dumb dumb. Just like your father. Ma, for 20 years I've been just like my father. Why are we always fighting? Let's kiss and make up. Huh? Get away from me. You smell like a fish market. Kara, need any help, huh? I don't smell like a fish market. <laughs> hey, Porgy. Been getting any lately, huh? Oh, yeah. The flounder's been running real...
out here. Come on, right out here. What's your name? Why are you sitting there staring at our house? Are you lost? I mean, are you lonely? Old car. My mother's. Carrot? What's your name? Uh, John. Where are you from? Oh, West Coast. I bet you have lots of girls up there. Well, actually, I... Are you hungry? No, no, I'm not. I saw you eating a candy bar. Well, I... It's my mother. Get in, son. Why? Just get in here. I want to talk to you. Come on. Hey, Hunter. Hunter. They, uh, just picked him up. I just picked him up down at the corner. I don't know. He's, maybe he's got a record or something. Looks like a weirdo to me anyway. Don't you talk like that about him. <laughs> How much do you figure he knows? You gonna tell him? Stay. Okay. What's that do to me?
Never happens. Santa. Go on from there. Hey, Eddie, let's get a little service here. Yeah, I heard you, Mac. Be right there. in here. Just empty out your pockets. They're on the desk. Am I under arrest? Well, you will be if you don't do as I say. What's your name? John... Hanson. Hanson. What are you doing in the Long Bay? You hear me, son? I'm here to find out. Find out what? Is that all? That's all I own to my name. Stand up. Walk over to that filing cabinet. Go ahead. Lay it against it with both hands. Move your feet in back of you. Further. That's it. Just Don't one minute. Don't take those. Now, hold it there. Those aren't even mine. What are you doing with them if they're not yours? Now sit down and let's find out about you. You came here from... Los Angeles, California? Why? It's my business. Here, your business is my business. Why? What were you doing over at Ronda's place this morning? Just a cup of coffee. Coffee, huh? Well, now, let's see. Please don't read those. What's so special about these letters? Those letters are private property. They're no concern of yours or anybody's. Now, please give them back to me. Son, this is a small, small town. Over the past 16 months, four people have disappeared, including the minister of the other church. Now, you show up here and tell me not to read these letters. Now, what would you do if you were in my place, huh? Now, you just sit there. I get out my specs and we'll see what's what. You said Los Angeles, didn't you? These are addressed to Durant, Oklahoma, Sulphur Springs, Texas, Dallas, Redlands. Oh, yes, uh, Los Angeles. All addressed to General Delivery. That was our address. Well, who's uh, Wilma Hanson? She's my... She's just a, a woman. And no return address. July, 
June 20th. Yeah. Oh, I've forgotten all about all that. Uh, so that's what you came back here for. Well, well, well. Are you hungry, son? Don't call me son unless you mean it. That too. Especially that. I've seen her and now I want to meet him. I bet you would. I just bet you would. Have you asked your mother? Not yet. Ask her. I will. I'm going to. Maybe she doesn't even know herself. And don't be nasty. Your mother is something a lot better than you think she is. Well, whatever she is, I'm not leaving here until I find out. I've known your mother since we were kids together. Playing the hay mow on their farm. My sister Kara, too. Although Kara and I never got along too well. She still treats me like a servant. We, all of us, all got secrets. But somehow we've learned to live with them. And with each other's. Now you're gonna come along and do a lot of damage to that uh, agreement. People are gonna get hurt real bad. Maybe, maybe for the rest of their lives because you want to find out something. Let it lay, son. Forget it. Get on with the business of your life. This is the business of my life. All right, son. Oh, sorry. I'm going to do you a favor. How much money you got there? Two dollars and 34 cents. Two dollars and 34 cents. You are legally a vagrant delinquent, and I could lock you up over the county jail for a month for that. But instead, I'm going to give you a ride over to the bus station, plus 20 dollars out of my own pocket, and you are going to leave this town. Now pick up your things and let's go. Just a minute. If legally, I am still a juvenile, then don't you think you'd better talk to my mother before you do a thing like that? You're just like your old. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. I really wish you wouldn't pull me around like that anymore. Why did you leave the garage? I'm not angry or anything. I was just wondering. Well, I had something I had to do. Why are you dressed like that? Like what? Funny, your coat and your clothes. I've always worn these. Is that why you brought me up here to make fun of me? Oh, no, honestly. It's just that there aren't many... Well, there aren't any young people around. And, well, I just... 
Alice wondered, that's all. Oh. Well, my fa... My, uh... Whoever he was. He never bought any new clothes for me, ever. Always said it was a waste of the Lord's money. So I just wore his old clothes. Well, you don't like wearing them, do you? Never really gave it much thought. Come on. Some old clothes and suits and things in here. I bet they'd fit you. No, that's your Landers and that's Porches, but yes, this. This is fantastic. Just try this on myself. Oh, I'm oh, sure. No. no, thank you. Come on, it'll be fun. No, now, now wait. Take Who's that? are they? Shh. Don't do that. Who Don't knows? do that. Porches or someone. Hey, please, idea. please. Come on. Come on. Listen, I'll do it. I'll do it. Piccolo's back. What? Piccolo's come home. Oh. He's a stud. Piccolo! <laughs> You're asking for it. Sometimes in the summer, they do it there in the sun, Piccolo and his ladies. It isn't easy just to sit here and watch. Well, you don't have to watch. Yes, I do. I'm very lonely, Johnny. Well, uh... I like you, Johnny. That's your mother. She doesn't come up here. Well, don't you worry about, uh, about uh, getting pregnant? No. I've got a whole jar of pills my mother buys in for Yolanda. She doesn't want her to have a baby. Nobody has to get pregnant. You're really quite conservative for someone from Los Angeles. Oh, pick a one. That's all right. to believe you don't know much more about this sort of thing than I do. I take a pill every day, but it's all academic. There's no reason to need them.
Are you sure you don't want the larger size, Mrs. Perry? If I'd have wanted it, I'd have taken it. Just put it on my bed. Holy cow. Oh, just in time, Roy. Take these out to the car for me. Oh. When we were in high school together, I delivered groceries for spending money. She still thinks that's my job. Come on, Roy! Come on! There you go. Oh, Kara, I met someone today that got me to kind of thinking about you. Oh. Oh, just someone. And I started wondering how you are. Oh, splendid, just splendid. My son, the ass, fishes for cod and catches trash. My 20-year trust is running out, and I've had to apply to welfare. Welfare, for God's sake. Can the end be far behind? Oh, it can't be that bad, Karen. What about selling the summer house? Your memory's failing you, Roy. I can't sell the place. Father gave it to the two of us, equally. Rhonda and you. Equally? Well, talk to her. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, what have you been doing with yourself since Grace died? Well, not much. It's kind of lonely around the house, so I just drive around a lot. Oh, there's a strange boy in town dressed like a scarecrow. He was hanging around the house this morning, and I don't like it. Take care of it, Roy. He doesn't belong here. Anything else I can do for you, ma'am? Yes, there is. That revolting person next door to me. Piccolo? Piccolo. He's back in town carrying on as usual, and I... Kara, we've been over all that before. And you won't do anything about it? I can't do anything about it. It's a different world today. What about my Celia? Well, that's another story. If he bothers her, will you just let me know? But until then... Until then, you're useless as far as I'm concerned. And I know that... Uh, Run is my mother. She is. And you and I are cousins. Mm hmm Is that why you couldn't... Sorry about that. That's all right. I guess you didn't want to anyway. Well, I... I guess I didn't. Well, that's all right. But I like the way you kiss. It's very polite. And you look nice in brown. Why wouldn't he ever buy you any clothes? I guess because he hated me. Hated you? Yeah. He was... Uh, Still is a, a preacher, traveling preacher. He can really preach, though. <laughs> Hell, fire, and damnation. And all that singing. I used to really like that part. I really like singing. Want to see some pictures of your new family? Oh. Come on, then. Come on. I really wish you wouldn't do that. There's some old ones of your mother in here. How did you find out Auntie Rhonda was your mother? I, she used to send letters to Mrs. Hanson. She's the woman who raised me. One day I found the letters and I decided... Gosh, that must have been a real shock. Yeah, it was. What is this room, anyway? Daddy's secret hideaway, I suppose. Mother locked it up years ago, but I managed to get into it. I come here often. Here, that was my graduation photo. That was my tutor. Mother wouldn't let me go to school in town. John Clapper, I called him Clap for short. He was very odd, he didn't like women at all. Then one day he just disappeared and no one's seen him since. He's the one who taught me to speak like this. Like what? English, he wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, I just figured you'd talk that way because you were stuck up. Silly. That's my mother and your mother. They don't talk to each other now. Funny looking, aren't they? Hmm. And that's my father. They never found out who killed him. And that's Porgy playing football and Yolanda's a cheerleader. Mina and I was ten and seven. 
and my father again. I wasn't even born yet when he died. My mother said it almost caused her a miscarriage. I think about that sometimes. I wouldn't have been at all. I find it hard to imagine my mother with, you know, actually in bed with a man. It seems unnatural. Yeah. And I look at this picture of my father and he's still young. And my mother's getting older. And he stays the way he is in the picture. Yolanda! Where is that lazy bitch? It's my mother. She's back. How do I get out of here? It's all right. Don't worry. I'll come back later. If it's late, I'll bring you something to eat. Maybe we can even try again after a while. Come in, see you. Did you find your kittens? No. I went through your closet today for the cleaning, and I couldn't find your graduation dress. I burned it. Burned it? I got something on it. It got dirty. A child, why did you burn it? Honestly, Mother, I hated it anyway. It was so little girlish. Well, we haven't talked in some time. You know, the church's ladies' aid is planning a tour to Jerusalem. Minister Powell arranged for it all before he left. Oh, he disappeared. Well, uh, whatever. <laughs> Piccolo and his games, filthy. Oh, filthy. What do you think of Piccolo? Do you think he's handsome? Sort of. He looks very strong. Has he ever tried to talk to you? He said hello. Did he ever ask you into his house? No, not really. Well, he either did or he didn't. No. Did you ever do anything to, oh, say, encourage him or, you know, smile at him? No, not really. Uh-huh. If your father hadn't lost that house, Piccolo would be doing his nonsense somewhere else. But you've heard it all before. I don't mind. I like to hear you talk about it. Sometimes Porgy talks about it. What can he tell anybody? He was hardly more than a child. And now what is he? A fishmonger. Yolanda says you won't let her and Porgy have a baby. That's a damn lie. How could I stop a thing like that? Sleep between them? Can you imagine a child by those two? It would have to be a don't. What if I had a child? Would it be a don't too? No. Of course not. But... But what? Well... You're not married, of course. How can you be thinking of having a child? You're only a child yourself. You have lots of time. What you need is a steady Christian hand to give you support. I guess that's what I wanted to tell you. Thank you, Mother.
Where are you going all dressed up? Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, peak call. Uh, there's uh, going to be a poker game night. Sure smells sweet to be going to a poker game. Well, I better go now. Uh, I won't be late. Oh, you'll be late. Hey, come on, kid. Don't Stop be... it. Damn it. Stop hey, it. Hey, what's the matter with you? I've got work to do. Well, I've never gotten away before. You're getting awful touchy since that kid showed up, you know? Is it the kid? Is that it? Everything's different now, Eddie. Yeah, that's it, the kid. Well, have you talked to him yet? Huh? Have you? No. But I'm going to. Okay. Where is he going to stay? Is he going to stay here? I hope so. What about me? Well, one of us could sleep on the couch. What if I don't want him here? I want him here. And what if he won't stay with me here? Well, I... I guess... <clears throat> You'll, you'll just have to leave. I got two weeks pay coming. Today's receipts are on the coffee table. Back later for the rest of my money and my clothes. Hey, hey, wait up, oh, kid. Hey, hey, hold it. Huh? What are you running for? Take it easy. Take it easy. Hey! Stand still. Now, why are you hanging around? Huh? It's none of your business. None of my business. Business? I'll show you business. Clean up that kid, he's dirtied his pants again. I'll leave him alone, Floyd. He's not through yet. Bus now loading for trash. Don't hit him again now, please. You load up that trailer, damn it. We gotta be in Tulsa tonight. Loveland, Addington. That goes chair, boy. Make yourself useful. I ought to get him some decent clothes. I don't do no good anyway. He just wears them out. Well, he ain't never going to graduate the way we move around all the time. Get 
you hit me. Never again. So that's why they were always taking pictures of me. Oh, I asked them to. <laughs> they were very good about it. Oh, I have hundreds more. You want to see some more? Put them. No. Oh, here they are. Come and sit down, Johnny. Here. Come over here. <laughs> you had a full head of hair when you were born. You've been paying for me. All these years you've been paying them to take care of me. The store's done pretty well, considering. It was too bad your dog died, Johnny. Does the cook live here, too? Are you married to him? No. I saw him view you. I shouldn't have let you go. No matter what they would have said, they said it anyway. I shame you, don't I? You probably came here looking for more of a mother than you found in me. I must be a sorry sight. I waited so long for you. So many young men came through here. I was always looking for you. Now that you're here, I don't seem to have anything to offer you. Pretty stupid, isn't it? <sighs> there is something. What? what? Don't. Oh, Johnny. I haven't touched you since you were four days old. Don't touch me now. Why? I'm your mother. Who's my father? I cannot tell you. That. Don't you know? I can't tell you. Why not? Was he crazy? No. Was he a criminal? No. Then tell me. Why? I have what to does know. It, matter? it matters. Why? If I have no past, then how can I know where I'm going? <gasps> can't you understand that? My dear son, I cannot tell you. I cannot do <laughs> John, you'll come back to him, you?
I got a call. I'm gonna tell your mother, kid. Yeah. Maybe I'll teach you a lesson once and for all. No! Yeah, yeah. Is that so nice? Oh, nice. No! You put me down here, pal. peace in the world, and love in our hearts. What do you think of this new minister? I don't know, he's all right. He's kind of attractive looking. I liked his mustache. <laughs> well, I like Minister Pollard better than this new one. He's too young, and all that nonsense, togetherness, and love makes me want to puke. Huh? That boy in church. Do I know him from somewhere? I don't think so. He's new in town. Yeah. Where have you hidden your kitten? Come on, see ya. I'll be in in a minute. Mr. Piccolo! Over here, over here. Over here, over Hello, here. Hello, Kara. I'm sorry things got a little loud last night and a little late. 2.30. There ought to be a law against it. That's nothing more than consenting adults, Kara. Now, what can I do for you? I I don't want you talking to Celia anymore. She's a young, impressionable girl, and if you keep after her, I'm gonna call the police. Kara, I am not after Celia, but let me tell you something. If you don't give that girl some room to live, you're gonna have a real nut on your hands. A nut, huh? That's right. Well, I'll never understand the appetites of some of these women who come to you. Well... Some folks can get along on a can of Metrocal. Others need steak and eggs. Well, uh... I am not interested in your Celia. All my needs are being amply filled right now. Well, I think most of your needs would be filled simply by having a good bowel movement. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> hey, Chrissy, come here. I got a funny for you. <laughs> bread this morning. That's what I do every Sunday morning. Come on. Oh, well. Thank you. That's what I smell. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Thank you. 
they're sisters, you know, Kara and Rhonda. We haven't spoken for years. Not ever since George got killed. I was the first one over there. I heard a noise. First of all, I thought it was the Thompson's dog screaming, howling something awful. It was half past five in the morning. It was raining so hard you could barely see. There was nobody out at that time, in that weather. Oh, it was awful. He was stabbed right over there in his own front yard. Of course, he was in all kinds of business deals. Some people said it was the Mafia that killed him. Are you a friend of the family? No. No, I, I just got into town. Oh, what did he say to that? Metro cow? Oh, we don't believe it. <laughs> oh, well, he's always looked like a big piece of beef to me. So ever since Tom got his new boat, hasn't caught a single fish since then. <laughs> the haddock are running like crazy. We'll probably be out for maybe two or three days at the most if uh, things go well and the weather holds up. We sh so, uh, you think you'll be gone two or three days at the most? Yeah, if the uh, weather holds up all right. And it Who is he, Aranda? My son. What? I think it's time your mother knew. Would you tell her for me? Uh, why, don't you, why don't you tell her? Hang this up, kid. How long have you lived around here, anyway? Forever. You were here 17, 18 years ago? Forever as long as 17 or 18 years. I used to own this tub. I lost it to the bankers. Porgy bought it. I worked for him. You knew Rhonda then? She was a beautiful girl. I wasn't always like this myself. Nobody starts out old. I was a handsome brute. <laughs> okay, bomber, let's get it on the way. Huh? Let's go. Move down. See you, cuz. <laughs> Move down, bomber. You're a most dissatisfied man. Thank you, ma'am. But then, why shouldn't you be? You've got nothing else to think about. Oh. Concentration. And time. That is the one thing Jerry never has enough of. Time. Oh, money, yes. Plenty of money. But no time. Hey, I have to go home tonight. Late? Early. He's coming back in the morning. At least I can do is be home when he gets there. Oh, hell ain't life fun. <sighs> what? Must see you. We will meet at the summer house at five this afternoon. Urgent. <laughs> Doesn't sound like Celia. Could be from anybody. They're all so nutty over there. Well, it may not sound like her, but I'll bet it is. She 
Kate's after you again. <laughs> well, I say she has an eye for talent, though. All right. Well, now, come on. We don't want to be late. You've got to be kidding. You're not serious. Well, you're not going to stop a girl like that by ignoring her. You're going to have to tell her to her face. Now, come on. I'm going to go along as a witness in case she yells rape. Uh, now, where the hell is the summer house? Come on. <laughs> okay. okay, baby. You better sit on this rock a bit. I'll be right back. This is crazy. Go on in there and get it settled. Oh, okay. Uh... sister. But I can hardly hear you. Who is this? It's your sister. Who? Rhonda. Why are you calling me? What do you want? I want to talk to you. Impossible. Kara, my son has come home. Why should we meet? I thought on the hill, across the bay, where we used to picnic.
really? Uh, we hope to retain the character of our town. That's one of the most Excuse important me, things Mr. in our Bear. planning. We don't want to change it. One of the important problems to be overcome at the present time is the matter of pollution of our harbor, which would involve the expenditure of more money than our town can possibly afford. Johnny, I'll help you as much as I can. I want to know who my father Shh. is. Don't you even know? He could be anybody off the street, right? I could be anybody. No, Johnny. You couldn't be just anybody. You weren't married to him either, were you? John, I've never been married. But I loved him, if it makes any difference to you. Then why did you ever give me away? I gave you up because... Because I loved you. But now, you're all I have. Is my father dead? Yes. Johnny, uh, I'll be right back. Dear, wait. Ronnie's Cafe? Yes, this is she. Yes, I'll wait. Eddie Martin? Yes, of course I know him. He's my cook. Incinerator, what was left of them. Who is it? See ya? No. I'm John. Come over here where I can see you. You're a bright boy. See ya. She's not up there. Have you met See ya? Why shouldn't I meet my own sister? I don't want that to happen ever again. Will you promise? No, I won't. Perhaps if I tell you, you'll understand. And for your own sake, leave here. Perhaps. After George was dead. I didn't want his baby in me. I tried to kill it. I struck it myself. Armed and mutilated myself. Awful things. But see, it didn't die. She was born anyway. And once she was here, alive, oh, I loved her. A beautiful child, but she was always different. As a child, she'd had tantrums, physical seizures. If you denied her anything, she would break things without any idea of their value. 
She seemed to have no sense of right or wrong. And then a while ago, she started writing letters to some of the men in town, you know. Our doctors, the mailman, even the minister. Love letters, they might be called. Bold things. Explicit. I found out from that cook of Rhonda's. He called me and read it over the phone. When they didn't respond, she sent them other letters, uh, accusing and threatening, abusive things. Is the truth enough to make you leave? That's all I've ever wanted. Now I find out my father was dead even before I was born. Can you believe I sometimes forget how he died? No. I think you remember exactly. You think I killed him? Then how did he die? I think I deserve to know that much, at least. He drove up in that Packard he'd gotten the year before. I was waiting for him. He'd been gone all night. Night after night. Out with half the girls in this county. This night, this night he'd been with my sister, my own sister, the humiliation. He came into the hall smiling, as I remember. He kissed me and gave me that Mother's Day card. I could smell Rhonda all about him in his hair, on his face. I ordered him out of the house. And then, on the front lawn, he turned and started to laugh. Laugh at me, like some demented animal. And I knew, in that moment, we were lost. Remind me of him. He always wore brown suits, too. Where did you, where did you get that? No. I've got some things of his in a box in my bedroom. You know, a couple of gold watches, rings, trinkets. You can have them if you like. Yes, I would. Unless you want them. No. I don't even know why I kept them. Maybe it was just for this night.
it, Johnny. Celia? I killed our father's murderer. Our father who art in heaven. Do you believe that, Johnny? Do you believe our father went to heaven? Where's Yolanda? In the garage. Is she all right? What do you mean, is she dead? Uh-huh. No. Who'd hurt Yolanda? Stupid, snoopy thing. Celia. Stay here tonight. Daddy made Mother pregnant with me. Daddy made Rhonda pregnant with you. Wasn't Daddy terrible? I thought if you found out, you wouldn't stay. I'm very lonely, Johnny. I don't care if we are related the way we are. I'm gonna have to go now. I bet you tell the police. I just bet you do. I have to go now. Johnny? songs are all I want to sing. A man can be a very lonely thing. Johnny. I guess I'll just go on wandering. Count the nights I toss and turn in bed. Cursing memories are racing through my head. Can't close my eyes long enough to dream. A man can be a very lonely thing I guess I'll just go on wandering Until I find the answers that only love can bring I guess I'll just go on wandering Tears I shed while weary and alone Dry on my pillow far away from home When it comes to being lonely I'm the king A man can be a very lonely thing 
I guess I'll just go on wandering Many times I feel like giving in I Lose a lot that never seem to win You never know how much the hurt can sting A man can be a very lonely thing I guess I'll just go on wandering Until I find the answer that only love can bring I guess I'll just go on wandering Until I find the answers that only love can bring I guess I'll just go on wandering Wandering